definitely gonna be over $100. Had to start the video off with the coffee in this case a matcha so this video is gonna be a what I spend living in LA I did a what I spend in a week in college when I was living in Austin a couple months ago I've been living in LA for the summer my name's Audrey if you're new here but my spending habits are definitely a little bit different here I'm living by myself I have a car I don't have access to my free coffee anymore pretty different lifestyle and so I wanted to do a video reflecting that so starting off with coffee we're just gonna kind of go through like the categories to this video i've been filming for kind of the past week but i didn't want it to be like i wanted it to be like an overall arching of what i spend so first for coffee i actually don't have like a number per month that i spend but last month i think i spent like around a hundred dollars which if you think about it if every coffee is like six dollars which it is that's only like 16 coffee so i'm not getting coffee every day i'm getting it like every other day um so yeah Okay, it's gas time. The price today is six thirty-six per gallon. We're going to the beach, and my car is like empty. My guess is that it's definitely going to be over a hundred dollars. There it is. Our grand total was a hundred and three dollars and forty-four cents. That's insane. <laughs> Best part about paying for a workout class is that you can't back out of it because then you lose money. It's 6.45. I woke up at 6.10 to make it to my 7 a.m. Soul Cycle class and I feel good. And if I wouldn't have paid for this class, I would have gone back to sleep. You have to pay $2 for parking at this location, which is Really I had a dream last night, it was different It was you and I and faded television I'm not in love with you, love with you But if I was, here's what I'd do Here's what I'd do If I was in love with you Okay, I just got a soul cycle. Classes are $24 each with the student discount, which is like honestly such a deal because I think they're usually like 32 here, if not. So last month I went six times. That's kind of probably average time. I try to go like once a week, maybe twice a week. So budgeting wise, that's like $150 a month. And I use the app Clio. Thank you, Clio, for sponsoring this video. It is a completely free app, and they have amazing features that help me stay on top of my finances. My favorite feature that I've been using is the budgeting feature. It can pick up your spending habits, so it can suggest a budget to you, but also you can customize it. So I added categories. So I added beauty for my nails, which we'll do later, and then I added a workout category, and I gave myself $150 a month Clio will keep track of that and seeing if I'm going over budget going under budget the app gives me notifications when I am going over budget but also if I'm going under budget which usually only happens like at the beginning of the month because I have been going over budget a lot <laughs> it'll also send me notifications like you're doing a great job and that's just like I love having that they also have other great features within the app like the roast mode which I've talked about before it's really good at visualizing how much you've made versus how much you've spent which I really like and then of course the budgeting has been my favorite y'all can download and use Clio it's absolutely free and I really think it's a great way to stay on top of things and just stay organized and know how much money you're spending and how much you have to spend. The link will be down below. Thank you, Clear, for sponsoring this video. And now, on to the grocery store. Right, it's time to go to the grocery store because I've been putting it off for far too long. Here's the little grocery store outfit. These shorts from Zara, Birkenstocks, shirt from Rudy Meltville, my Ray-Bans. We have my coffee with a glass straw and my like little Marc Jacobs tote. I was out of town this past weekend. We have no food. I'm going to the grocery store and of course I'm going to multiple because that's just how life works. No one grocery store has everything I want. So and we're going to Trader Joe's first and then I think like later in the day I'm going to go to Whole Foods because I have an Amazon return anyway. So we're getting it all in. Of course I'm going to do a grocery store haul. Talk to you about how much I kind of spend. This is like the first time that I've really had to like had a kitchen and have gone grocery shopping weekly. So it's definitely an adjustment. I 
really don't have it completely figured out yet, but you'll see that. Or going to Trader Joe's, like the best place ever. I almost forgot the most important part, my reusable Trader Joe's bag, which is literally my favorite thing ever. I'm literally obsessed with this. It looks like a Trader Joe's bag, but it's like heavy duty. And ever since I got this, I haven't seen it since, and I'm really sad about it because I want another one. Okay, to the grocery store. Time for a haul. Flowers. I spent forty-eight dollars, and then I forgot flowers on the way out. So then I did like another transaction that was like five dollars, which is so worth it to me. I think Trader Joe's has like the cutest flowers. I'm gonna put them in this wine bottle. Like, look how cute that's gonna be. So we got veggie sticks, organic pasture raised large brown eggs which are more expensive i just feel like me having chickens at home i can't really buy normal eggs now english muffins I still have like white bread in the fridge and then i got turkey and provolone for sandwiches so the thing is my friends are coming this weekend and so i don't think i'm gonna cook that much so you'll see a lack of like fresh food i got mushroom risotto and gorgonzola gnocchi these two are like my favorite Trader Joe's frozen things. Chicken, because I make the chicken and then put it with the mushroom risotto and it's really good. Chicken pot stickers. I got sour cream because we were out. These sharp cheddar cheese packets. And then this Mexican style cheese. I like to make like nachos or quesadillas with this, which is also, I need to get tortillas at Whole Foods. I need to like start making a list for Whole Foods because I don't have one right now. That's the food I got. Again, I know there's literally no fruits and vegetables but i'm not gonna eat them this weekend i'm scared they're gonna go bad so this is just all i stocked up with for now and then i'll go to whole foods and finish the rest of my shopping but this was like 55 dollars basically and i have no idea how much is like too much to spend on groceries per week this will probably last me like two weeks so i'm also gonna put my flowers in my little wine bottle i've been out of my head can't get out of bed too much on my brain, but got it good, can't complain It's like I'm losing my mind, and time's hard to find What's a girl gotta do to catch a break? When I'm back from Whole Foods, I literally just put everything away and forgot to do a little haul, but I did not get that much And I'm already realizing I forgot stuff, I only spent $21.96 But I guess if you compare what I got and it's got a lot of money they didn't have my usual coffee creamer that i got i think only target sold it so i'm trying this nut pods creamer i got my almond flour tortillas they're like gluten-free and they're like yummy and then i also got these tortilla chips which are like my favorite brand i don't know if they're just a california thing but and then i got this jug of water because i'm a water snob and i don't really like the water here buying a big jug like that is like five dollars so it's really not that bad besides the like plastic part i guess today i spent 70 dollars on groceries which seems like a lot but i think it's gonna last me a good amount of time like i'll probably just go back next week to get like produce that's the grocery part of my life the f not the food part because i eat out way too much we'll talk about that next Okay, eating out is such a hard one for me because I'm in LA, so I want to try all these places. But like, oh my, oh my goodness. Cleo says that I've spent like $700 eating out. Um, so, so yeah, I eat out a lot and I think that's going to completely change once I get back to Austin. And honestly, like when I was in college, I was only eating out on the weekends because we didn't have food. And now I've been trying all these places. It's just so expensive and... It's just one of those expenses where I'm like, I just need to bite the bullet for this month because I'm living in LA and I want to try all these new places. And I kind of knew that that was going to happen this summer. I knew that I was going to spend a lot of money on eating out and it definitely has happened. It's definitely a thing. Nail time, my favorite time of every like two and a half weeks. So these are my nails right now. I got like a light pink with a chrome powder on it. They're a little bit grown out. Actually, my nails haven't been breaking, which is kind of why I want to go in now before it starts chipping. Okay, I got them done on June 24th, which was like two and a half weeks ago. So I'm on like a two and a half week schedule for my nails and then every other time I get my nails done I get my toes done so every like five 
five weeks for my toes. In a great place in LA. I'm not, I forget how expensive it's gonna be, but we're about to go. I do have no idea what I wanna get because I really did love these, but I don't like getting the same thing over and over again. So we're just gonna show up, see what calls its name out to me. I think I'm gonna go for like a bright summer thing, but I love going to get my nails done. It's like such a good self-care for me and I love when my nails like look put together especially with social media when I'm taking pictures of things and like with things I like to have put together nails so we're going to do that um right now Okay, here are the final nails and then I got funny bunny on my toes which is like a white milky color a manicure was 45 and a pedicure was 35 so that's 90 and then it was 10 to remove my gel so that's how it got to 90 and I tipped $10 in cash five to each the person who did my nails and the person who did my toes so usually when I do both it is like around $100 when I just get a manicure it's like 55 60 with tip but I honestly like it's so relaxing to me and it makes me feel put together and good so it's like 100% worth the money for me so that was one of my like twice a month expenses <laughs> I went back to the store, back to Target. This time, expenses that you like don't think about, but you need to get them. So toilet paper. I could have gotten these at the grocery store the other day, but I didn't. And then my vitamins. My total was $70. I don't know how. I got like a salad and chips. These are like $25, the Mighty Patch for like your skin. And then these are like $20. And I buy this once a month. It has 30. So that's just like a little miscellaneous expense in there. Okay, now I'm talking about some more of these monthly expenses that kind of just get charged every single month that I don't really think about, but I should. My Apple Music, I get a student like discount, so it's $4.99 a month, but then I pay Apple $9.99 a month for iCloud storage because I just, it just have way too many photos, and I really don't like paying $10 a month for iCloud storage, but also I'd be devastated if I lost all my photos. So, and then I also pay for Amazon Prime, which is $7.65 a month. And then Audible, which I really don't, also don't like that I'm paying this, like actually, but Audible is $14.95 a month. I wanna cancel it, but before you cancel it, you have to use all your audiobook credit. And I don't know what audiobooks I wanna use in like four, class i actually do use audiobooks but i have like 10 credits so i don't want to lose all those credits because then i'm losing like the 50 it's this whole thing and so i'm still paying 14.95 a month so that total is 37.58 just kind of for miscellaneous things that i pay for every month that just like are automatically charged to my credit card okay then also speaking on those subscriptions a little bit on what my parents pay for because I'm still in college and I still like rely on them and like I'm a little bit dependent on them or along with the subscriptions like Netflix Hulu I'm still on all my parents stuff and then they pay for my school and they're paying for my housing here I am paying for everything in this video but I'm not paying for my housing or my tuition this summer it's laundry time which yes does unfortunately cost me money in quarters it costs like 175 for the washer 150 for the dryer a few weeks ago our washer like broke like the thing got jammed and so i was scared that i was gonna have to go to a laundromat and then last week i also just did like a laundry service which was like 40 dollars in cash which is kind of a lot but it took like three days and i didn't have time for that but this morning i looked and it looks unjammed so fingers crossed that our washer works because it was so inconvenient when it didn't this is like really embarrassing but i'm going with literally a trash bag of towels because i had company this weekend and we went to the beach we had some bath towels and i don't really have a lot of laundry bags so i'm walking over to the washer and dryer with a trash bag and i really hope none of my neighbors see me because I already don't think they like me because they never talk to me. Um, anyways, I'll probably do multiple loads today, but we're just going to show this one because it's probably going to be the most entertaining. Not taking out the trash, I'm just going to do laundry.
that is it for today's video everything that I've kind of spent in the last month kind of my spending habits especially living in LA when it's so expensive honestly like I like updating y'all about this because my life it's it just shows how different my life was from when I was living in Austin till now and my spending habits I think it's cool to see like just living somewhere else and like in a different living situation changes so many things and how many little things you think of that you have to pay for so yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video it's a little different format than my last what i spent in a week i feel like it kind of i was trying to show y'all more whole everything about my life my instagram and a ton of other things will be linked below tiktok blog maybe my podcast and a link to download cleo for free thank you guys so much for watching i love you all so so much and i will see you in my next video okay it's recording now Okay, can you take like a picture picture of me? Horizontal? No, vertical is fine. Okay. The lighting is actually really good. <laughs> is that like cute? I like it.